Hey everyone, this will just be a very quick unboxing of the Pyudarium platform. This is a small and also put together course and show you what it looks like. Uh, so you have a before and after, so it's kind of like you can hide it with decorations and whatnot. Uh, so that is, of course, to make land features uh, easier for you to make. There we go. If you guys want to read that, go ahead and pause the video. And in the back it just talks about the features. As you get two legs, you get the platform itself, and then a tray that the platform fits into. And they also do have the large version of this, which I have in my large pyodarium. This one is for the smart pyodarium, or you know, if you're gonna make your own pyodarium. Alright, so this is pretty simple. So you have your two legs. They have uh, four little feet on each of them. So <laughs> each leg has four feet. Uh, this is the platform. And here is your tray. This is, of course, all plastic. And if you hear that noise, that is my frog's making mating calls. Uh, so to make this, it's Pretty simple. Flip that over. And then of course you line up the feet with these holes so it is adjustable. Just make sure it goes into two of them um, on either side. So I decided to go in one. I just feel like that will be a little bit more stable uh, than if it would be on either end. And then that will stand up. It's on my bed so I might fall over right now but and then platform, or the tray, excuse me, just kind of sits on here. Uh, that's how it was with the big one as well. It can slide around. It's a little bit flimsy. Um, but once you put weight on here and stuff, it won't be able to move. So it'll be okay. And that's what it looks like. So yeah, that's just a quick unboxing and setup of the ZooMed Pyudarium platform. This one is the small, and they also have the large. And here is my large one, somewhat set up. I need to redo this Pyudarium a little bit. Um, but you can see here, that's what it looks like. And the feet just go into the water, of course. And of course, you can hide this all together by adding like moss, uh, plants, you know, do a whole bunch of different stuff to hide it. Again, I just need to redo mine. Yeah, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Stay tuned for more vids. See y'all next time, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.